Yet public opinion polls by several leading Mexican dailies indicate that fewer than 30 percent of Mexicans approve of the job President Enrique Peña Nieto is doing. At least two major corruption scandals have enveloped his administration, including one last month. Investigative reporters revealed that he allegedly plagiarized nearly a third of his law degree thesis. Peña Nieto denies the accusation. With the hostile political climate growing, it's no surprise that Peña Nieto held this tightly controlled media event with hand-picked young Mexicans as his audience. This man asks the Mexican president what he will do to improve negative public views about his government's credibility. There is no need to repair our popularity rating because I did not arrive at the presidency to maintain myself at high levels of popularity. I came to the presidency to undertake the transformation of Mexico, to bring changes to the country. Peña Nieto says his administration is providing greater security for his country in the face of criminal violence. But the government's own statistics indicate that murders caused by gun violence are rising again in Mexico. And in his State of the Nation report, Peña Nieto says his administration is effectively fighting extreme poverty. But millions of Mexicans still live with poor housing conditions, and many do not have enough to eat. Political analyst Maria Elena Meneses says corruption scandals, especially those in which Peña Nieto and his wife appear to have received a $7 million mansion from a government contractor, explains his low approval ratings. Never has a president faced such adverse public opinion. We did not even see this in the 1994 political and economic crisis. It's gotten to the point that the president has to protect himself, and that is why he's looking for very controlled environments. A meeting with U.S. Republican presidential contender Donald Trump this week did not help. Still, Mexico's president says during his last two years in office, he will continue moving forward with energy and education reforms, which have also faced a lot of criticism. Frank Contreras, CCTV, Mexico City.